Hey guys, so I'm going to be bringing you a DIY beard of dragon harness video. This is if you don't feel like spending $15 to $20 on a harness like I did and it end up not fitting because that's exactly what happened. And if you're going to buy a harness from a store, make sure you bring your beard of dragon or your animal. This is really can work for any animal. I'm probably not a dog because I don't think you can make... Unless he's a really puppy, then you can make a sock harness. But I'm just going to be using the sock method like fabric method like you can use t-shirt socks whatever i know some people use a ribbon of such like they use like string or something but i don't know i just feel like a sock would be much more comfortable but before i start i just wanted to give a few point outs um when i first made the harness i'm going to show you a clip at the end of the video of me walking fits for the first time i used a much thicker sock so this is like better quality thought fuck so this is a better quality sock rather than your like dollar sock um so as you can see it's just like really thin like you can tell by me doing this how thin it is um rather than this one so i just recommend getting a thicker one because as we all know beard dragons have really sharp claws and they can tear through this if you're not careful enough this is just basically a really cheap way to make a beard dragon harness or really any small pet harness Another thing, oh, I'm so red. Okay, another thing, I forgot to show you guys the um, 10 gallon tank, but I just cleaned it today because I actually waited so long and it's not good, but I did clean the snail tank today and I cleaned that tank. I didn't clean Fitz's tank because I, I already did his and his is fine. But here they are. What you'll need is a sock you'll need some scissors and it's optional but if you want like a pen or a sharpie to make marks on then you can but if you want to be like me and wing it then go right ahead um and then you'll need your lizard your small animal that never lets go of my hand you're gonna want to cut like right here and right here Right before it bends for the tip of your toes, so like right here, and right before it curves for your heel. I mean, if you want to do like a full body harness, I'm sure there's a way, but I'm only doing it so it covers um mainly like right here. Yeah, you just cut this off. Oh, forgot to mention, you should probably measure it to see how um the length you want it to be, but I already know by looking, this is so uneven. But um, by looking at fits that I want it to be about this length. Okay, once you're done that, then you're going to want to cut the top of the sock where you want it to fold over. So I'm going to cut it right here so it just comes apart. So these would be on the bottom. And then this would be the top. So it would look like this. So after you do that, you should have something like this. What you can do is... um. Put your beard of dragon over it just to see where you might want to mark the marks. You want to mark it like right at the top of their shoulders. You don't want to mark it here or here. You just want to mark it right here because that's where the um the part of the harness will just fall. So if I'm measuring fits, I would say fits is about exactly where these two are. You really just fold it and then cut. Like fold it in half and then cut a little slit in it and then do the same with the other side don't cut as far up as i did because that's a really bad idea so you'll have something like this and there's going to be two holes so how to put it on you basically just open up the hole and put just i don't know i just bend fits his hand together like this well i don't hurt him but i just bend it inwards I like close his hand and then I just work my way up the only reason I don't really pull hard is because their um scales fall downward and I'm pulling upward I'm surprised Fitz is not like moving everywhere so just really be gentle when you're doing this unless you can find like a little ring of some other fabric that makes it easier to slide right up their scales because I'll zoom in on the video but as you can see the string is being pulled by their scales and it more than likely hurts them so that's the last thing you want to do especially because most bearded dragons probably won't like the fact that you're trying to mess with them like this 
I've done this to fit so many times, so he's probably used to it. So anyway, what you can do now, now that's on, is you can actually just poke a hole through both of the fabrics like this, right in the middle. And then thread like a rope or something around there, and that's pretty much it. Since I have the harness that doesn't fit and the leash came with it, I can just easily pinch these two together and clip it. Make sure that the fabric isn't too tight. So as you can see, I still have a lot of room here. If you're walking your bearded dragon or like taking him somewhere and he starts moving and he has a chance of like getting into something dangerous, you can easily just hold him back with this. There are a lot of dogs in my area and especially if you're walking a small animal like this one, dogs have a really better chance of coming after them. So I'll show you guys the clips of me walking fits with my messed up harness that I made. This is getting the looks. <laughs> <laughs>